All right, so today's chapter is on color and we're going to learn what is color and its combinations. Plus we're going to have some exercise where we can just try out some uh, sketches related to today's chapter. So I would uh, re request you to take a color set of colors, pencil colors, pencil and um, A4 size book. Yeah, let's start with. So, Basically, there are three colors in nature. Can anyone tell me which are the three colors? Uh, red, blue, and uh, green. Okay. These three colors, the three colors are primary colors. They are red, blue, and yellow. So these three colors we cannot make, we cannot prepare. They are already there. And for example, if you are having three bottles, yellow, blue, and red, you can put n numbers of shades in it. And that is why they are called as primary colors. So primary colors are red, yellow, and blue, which you cannot make, which you cannot prepare. Okay. So uh, once you have these three colors in your on your palette, you can make you can prepare variety of shades. You can prepare secondary colors, tertiary colors. So basically, what is primary colors? What is the meaning of primary colors? Is the colors which are uh, the basic colors, the main colors, red, yellow, and blue. All right. And then further, when we mix red, you know, the primary colors to each other. Uh, one by one, like, you know, uh, red to yellow, yellow to blue, again, blue to red. So we get the secondary colors. And those colors are when we mix red and yellow, we get uh, orange. When we mix blue and yellow, we get green. And when we mix red and blue, we get violet. So these are called secondary. Further, then we have tertiary colors. When again, we mix ahead the primary and the secondary. So like that, we can make numerous shades once we have the primary colors. So um, let's go through the color wheel. Generally, when we learn about colors, the, the main tool, you can call it. The main tool is the color wheel. Once you have the reference of a color wheel, you can do prepare various combinations, various color schemes. So let's have a look at the color wheel. So here is our color wheel. And look at the basic colors. They are red, yellow, and blue. So when you prepare, for example, if I'm sorry, I was not audible. Uh, all right, so when we... All right, so the primary colors are very... If you are, uh, say, if you do not have any other colors and you have these three colors, you can make these shades. So whenever you want to recollect, like I was saying that uh, if you don't re remember the combination, but you should always remember the primary colors, red, yellow, blue, so that you can prepare your color wheel on the spot. Okay, and remember, get the best of the combinations which are um, available in uh, the color palette. So red, when mixed with blue, we get violet. So 
this is the violet color so red and blue when mixed equally in equal proportion we get violet but when red and yellow mixed in equal proportion we get orange and in equal proportion blue and yellow we get green these are the secondary colors and uh, and further colors are red violet red orange yellow orange yellow green blue green blue violet so all these are tertiary colors so once we um, go ahead with the for the slide i'll explain you before that moving to the before moving to the next slide i would like to mention that from red to we can see this yellow green shade these all colors are called as warm colors because they give us a feel of warm when we look at it we feel um, the warmth in the colors through the colors and when we look at the from the range from green towards red violet we feel that we get a feel of cool shades cool feel so that is why they are called as cool colors yeah so here we can see uh, the proper names the terms the way we can call them red is primary blue is primary and yellow is primary then when see children, uh, children we can make a um, color wheel as i told you and you can just write down the names of the colors like r for red blue for b for b for blue y for yellow and you can prepare the diagrams so that you get the combinations further we're going to see the color combinations so these are the best combinations prepared okay it is a theory it is a uh, best combination what, what what we can call it is very harmonious combination of colors where we can feel uh, when when we use these colors like you know these are the further these are the combinations where when we apply it in our work we get the best results okay so the first combination is the complementary colors complementary colors are the color the colors on the wheel which are placed in opposite position like it can be anything it can be yellow opposite to sorry yeah it can be yellow opposite to violet or it can be yellow green opposite to red violet while calling i am though it is close to violet i am calling it uh um, preferring red in first place because primary we going to give importance to primary so that's how it is called as red violet so this combination where any color which is in opposite placement is called as complementary color and generally when you find like you know when we dress up we generally uh, or we have some um uh, um uh, some objects or uh, some interior or uh, arrangement we try to keep complementary colors because they <coughs> are very sharp and uh, they stand out very nicely because they op they are opposite to each other so generally when you can see uh, in the normal day to day life though people are unaware about the theory they are they generally use this principle of complement colors is someone talking i can i can hear the broken voice hello any doubts students i shall go further so next next step is analogous color scheme where you can just now for example this is a limited palette further we have bigger palette so depending on the ratio we can increase the colors uh, in analogous color scheme so your it's just primary secondary and tertiary further we still have more shades so that time uh, you can take more combinations for analogous color scheme what is analogous color scheme it is a sequence of colors from one group 
it can be anything it can either uh, tend towards a little warm and a little cool or only cool it can be like that or only warm okay so it is just one thing which you have to follow is the continuation continuous three four shades depending on the uh, color wheel how big uh, color wheel are you using okay the next uh, color scheme is triadic color scheme where you just have to follow a symbol of triangle and pick the colors the split complementary is a color first you have to pick a color for example here it is blue violet okay so first you have to choose the main color which you wish to have and opposite to it you can make a y alphabet and pick the the opposite to blue violet is yellow orange okay so next to yellow orange left right you going to pick the adjacent two colors so that is called as split complementary color scheme so these are very very basic uh, there are plenty of combinations further but these are the basic colors color combinations now let's go through a little bit of information color harmony color is a sim, uh, similar to musical notes in many ways and there are certain combinations of color that are pleasing when put together appropriately called color chords or color harmonies complementary we just learned um, colors that are opposite of each other on the color wheel are called complementary colors the high contrast between complementary colors when seen together causes them to stand out more that is what we spoke before some time and has a very vibrant look they're very attractive they're very pleasing they're very eye catching but can be tricky to use in large doses without being too intense it means that um, keeping the balance of colors like sometimes it happens if if you're using a red green combination red is too bright so you just have to be cautious of how you are handling it because proportion also matters like how much of area you are uh, giving preference to red and then to the green so for the we're going to study that too split complementary we just re, uh, saw split complementary is a variety variation on complementary it uses one color and the two adjacent colors to its complement to bring the same strong contrast as complementary color combinations but with less tension as now you can see what is tension the tension which i was talking before when i was talking complementary is um, here in split complementary it is a bit subtle whereas in complementary it is quite shocking you can call it shocking you can call it uh, shouting okay but then to remember it is these are the best combinations all these color schemes are best combinations analogous using color next to each other on the color wheel tend to give designs a feeling of unity and serenity because they are from one family students because they are from one family they they are uh, a, a bit similar but a bit different that's how uh, there is you know interest created in the design having creating values uh, because these colors are similar in hue having creating values is important when using analogous combinations to keep color colors distinct distinct from each other triadic combinations are made with three colors located equally equal distance from each other on the color wheel such as red yellow blue making a triangle triangular pattern the harmony as has a tendency to be vibrant despite saturation and is often impacting um when one color is used more than the others so lastly it mentioned about the saturation i'm going to explain you what is saturation in the further slide 
Now I want you to, before we proceed further, I want you to note down the color wheel. Okay, so have you noted, are you using your color pencils? You may just, I, I may just have a look at your work. Can you show me? And what are we supposed to do? See, I just want you to do a diagram and just okay. mark the colors. Colors, that's it. If you have got pencils, pencil colors, then better you mark it with colors 